Is there a major difference between engraving on plastic and wood? Well, let's find out. So we're going to be using the same artwork to engrave on both items. I just need to shape it so that it has its individual size so that it will fit on each item. So now we need to make sure that we can make it to the correct size of our actual engraving. And the first one is going to be 200 by 35. And there we have it, we've got our first design done and to the size we want it. So now that we've got that one done, we can now move over to our second design. Just gonna hide that and we're gonna bring up this one. And now we can save it as a DXF. I've imported my design into my program and now we're just going to check the size to see if it's still the same from our previous program. Once we've done that then we can change our settings and get this going. So let's first make sure that we select each one by itself and we can also then change it if it is wrong. Sometimes the exporting does change the size so let's just make sure 200 by 35. 34 is fine, we can leave that as is. Uh, Check this one here and we said 300 by 170 let's just put the 300 here 169 is the other size it's perfectly fine now that we've done that we can then do our settings and the settings I'll be using today is 500 speed with and I want to go a bit deeper than normal I want to do 65% power now that we've done that all we got to do is push save and head on over to the laser engraver to start we're going to be engraving on this wooden stock here and I've chosen to do the engraving on the front piece here on both sides. So we've got our artwork set up here and the first one we're going to be engraving will be the wooden stock which is this one here and that will do on both sides. So let's quickly save that and engrave it. We've done the wooden stock, now we're going to do the plastic one and I've chosen to do the engraving on the butt section from here to about here and we're going to do it on both sides. And the reason for that is because we already have the manufacturer's engraving on the front piece so I chose to do it on the much bigger area on the butt. Now we've finished with the wooden one so let's move over to the plastic one which is going to be this one. So let's quickly save it and now do that one. Right, so we've engraved both of them, but let's have a look at the wooden one first. Uh, my first impressions of the wooden one is that it's gone a nice clean engraving. It looks like it's got quite a nice depth, what I wanted in the first place. I can see in the wood that the detail is really, really good. Like it's got clean lines, even though that the vectorizing wasn't so great, it still came out for its size really well. I've got no imperfections overall for wood it looks really nice and I'm happy with the way it looks it came out really well 
As for the plastic engraving, this one came out really well as well, but we have a lot of melting going on in the places where the height dips down. So if you've got over here, it looks like it's melted quite a lot here and where it's supposed to be at focal length, which is up here on the ridge, it's got a lot better engraving. From what I can tell, this plastic seems to be more like ABS and melts rather than engraving. But overall, it still came out really nice for this test. However, the question still begs, what is the difference between engraving on wood and plastic? And as we can see with the same settings, engraving on wood came out much clearer and better, and it has a lot better visually pleasing looks than the plastic. And from what I can see on the plastic, it melts rather than engraves like the wood, and it still leaves behind a lot of residue and just didn't come out as clean as it should have. So my conclusion is, no matter what your settings are, even if they are the same, your engraving will always look different depending on your material. In this case, plastic versus wood, the two come out completely different. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.